hate him, Mr. Monson. You understand you're trespassing right now, right? I have an easement with the previous owner of your property. <laughs> previous being the operative word. Who's this? Just a guy telling you to get back in your nice truck and go play Oki Dickhead somewhere else. Hey, Carl. It looks like Mr. Monson hired some muscle. Looks that way. He's a friend of mine. Friend with a big mouth. I hear that a lot. And you probably hear this too. More than I'd like. And you know the drill. I'm gonna count to three, and you're gonna start walking away. Yeah, right to this one. One. I have a lawyer now. Two. Three. Ah, ah. Yeah, that boss. <clears throat> you know the drill. Get the hell out of here. Logan is a comic book movie with aspirations. It's a Marvel superhero movie that wants to be taken seriously as drama. And because it's got some really strong actors involved, it succeeds more than you think it might. The actors are Hugh Jackman, who plays Wolverine, otherwise known as Logan, and Patrick Stewart, who plays Professor Charles Xavier, the man who put the X in X-Men. These are some of the best actors working today in any field. They've played these characters several times before. They know them really well. They've gotten good dialogue to work with. And they really make this film more involving emotionally than you think a superhero film would be. This is set in the future. It's a standalone story. The professor and Wolverine slash Logan are living together in Mexico. Things are bad for them, and they're about to get worse. Bad people are headed their way, and so is a very unusual young woman named Laura who enters their life and brings all kinds of chaos and all kinds of possibilities into them. If you know the X-Men universe, this is a standalone story that is very much worth your time. For the Los Angeles Times, this is Kenneth Turan.